thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more it related video so today i'll be showing you how to create a shelled mailbox in office 365 let's say you work as an it administrator or you are doing some training or you want to create a shared mailbox with microsoft office 365 so here to create a shared mailbox we have different options how we can do that so here if you start the um log into your office 365 portal you come to the office dot com and here you will need to click the admin center if you are if you are an administrator of the office 365 portal click on administrate on admin and to take you to the microsoft 365 admin center here you don't need to click on the users um users but you need to click on the groups here and then on the groups you need to click on shared mailbox in shared mailbox we have the option to actually add a shared mailbox and here we can just add the user's account we want to add that's option one so the second option we have is actually to just scroll down in admin center click on exchange so here in exchange you can see we are now in the exchange admin center so when you work, when you come to the exchange admin center here you see the welcome and on, on your dashboard we have the option to actually see we see the recipient which is the mailbox the groups the resources contact shared and migration so if i click on the recipient as well as they have the same so here we can see we have the mailbox i also have the shared mailbox so if i click on the shared i can decide to click the plus sign which is new and here also also have the option to actually create a shared mailbox but i'm going to show you the third option actually to create a shared mailbox which is go back to your mailbox and here you can see we have a new sign which says the manage your exchange online mailboxes and messaging configurations in a new exchange admin center so let's just click try it now so that's the actually the new admin center which microsoft is trying to actually create and think in the future this uh, exchange admin center will not be available anymore so we'll all be using the new admin center so just click try it now and here you can see we have the new exchange admin center it's almost actually like the old one the, the, the same like the old one because you can still do everything here but you can see the design is different and everything is more clear and just straightforward here for example we have the mailbox you can see we don't have the shared mailbox anymore here so when i try to create an account you can try to create a, add a shared mailbox here as well so just click add a shared mailbox and here when i say add a shared mailbox so what i need to do is to just enter the name of the shared mailbox and i'm going to call this finance um, so here you can select the domain for example you have like different domain um in your environment so you can select you have i have just one domain which i registered um which is the registered domain and this one the priority on microsoft is the one you use to create your microsoft account so i'm going to select this registered domain and then you can as well click create an alias for this um, shared mailbox but i'm going to leave it the way it is right now and just click create so you see the mailbox has been created so it goes very fast actually to create the shared mailbox so we can set, decide to add users to this mailbox but let me just click close and also you can see during the creation of the uh, mailbox i don't have the option to actually add a password because a shared mailbox does not have need a password because the users cannot actually log in with a shared mailbox so if i click on the shared mailbox we just created so here we can see we have some option the mailbox and we also have the account so under the mailbox we have some options to actually manage the email address type we can manage the mail flow settings so we can actually have the, the mailbox permission that is grant users access to this mailbox we can as well convert this mailbox to a regular a mailbox which becomes a regular account but what we need to do is to add users to this mailbox we just click on manage and here you see we can decide to add users to actually read and manage this mailbox as if they are the owner of the mailbox or we can as well as i'm granted user they send us um, access to this mailbox which means the user will be able to send mail and emails on behalf of this mailbox when they log in to their account so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click edit 
and here I'm going to add a user to this mailbox, which is well, so all the users um, in your environment will be listed here. So if you work in and um, in the Brig environment, you may have thousands of users. So you just need to type in the user's first name, and it's going to appear here. So I'm just going to select Nora Johnson. Click save. Right now, right now Nora has been have been added successfully. So just click close, and let me close this again. You can see it's been loading. So you can see right now, Nora is the only member of this mailbox. So click close and close again. So when Nora logs to um, a computer in your environment, or Nora decides to browse to the web browser, Nora can decide to add this mailbox as an additional mailbox. So let me just give you an example when Nora logs on to um, decide to log into a browser to um, Office 365 using the web browser. So right now I have um, I'm accessing the email account of Nora Johnson using a web browser. Here you can see this is the email of Nora Johnson, and I decide to click on just click on Outlook, and you'll be redirected to the Outlook portal of Office 365 Outlook.office.com. So here you can see Nora is not seeing the additional finance mailbox which she has I am access to. So for Nora to actually um, access that mailbox, what she needs to do is via the web browser is to click on this account man manager for Nora Johnson and open another mailbox. So I'm just going to search for the mailbox. You can just type the first three letter of the mailbox and here you can see it's going to pop up um, for Nora. So just select the mailbox and click open. Here you can see the mailbox actually is going to be open in a different um, browser. So, so right now you can see that the Outlook is the mail finance at Privé is a tailless Dot be, which is of course is the mailbox uh, is the shared mailbox that Nora is a member of but if Nora logs on to her computer and start Outlook from her uh, Windows 10 device or any other device she'll be able to see the finance mailbox as an additional mailbox to her account which will be added automatically for her she don't need to actually do anything about that so thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. I hope this um, video is very clear to you on how to create a share mailbox, add users to a share mailbox, and even using the browser to actually browse a shared mailbox. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson, and please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more IT-related video, and give me a thumb up for taking my time to create this video. Thank you very much, and see you next time.